We got Mike here from Vectronics. How are you, Mike? Very good, Todd. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Thanks for coming over. Thank you. So we got three uh, cool. products here that you guys manufacture. You all have a, a, a long list of products you make, but you brought three over. So let's first go through uh, th this item. Okay, what this is, uh, our item is the Cody, the clip-on thermal imager. Okay. It's a small, uncooled microbolometer technology. Very small. Meaning it's an 8 to 12 micron thermal imager. Extremely small, lightweight, takes a single 123 type battery. So the optic is the receiving end, the display end puts the image out. Right. And it's designed so that it could use a clip-on type simple basic eyepiece and you just slip the eyepiece in and then the image is going into the eyepiece and as a handheld viewer you can see thermal heat emission from all objects in the field of view. Just a nice Out outline. Nice outline feature, crisp. a full feature, varied, varied menu, detailed, complete menu for thermal imaging digital technology. So there are many things you can do with it, including export the imagery, record the imagery, utilize external power and other things. It's very versatile in that regard. It's been thought through very well. As a matter of fact, it's been designed and developed with cooperation of our special operators telling us what we should be doing. Right. So it's got those features. And their needs. And their needs. It is also and primarily probably designed to go on an optic like a PVS-14 type night vision image intensified device so that when you have the green glow amplified image of the image intensifier and you can see light and the ambient reflected light of objects but you can't tell in there in bushes and things, you add the thermal optic now and now you have a fusion, an optical fusion of information, the thermal image overlaid over the image intensified image. So now as you look you can not only identify a target but you can see hot spots. Got things it. like there's people in the bushes that the ice square won't see into the bushes right. but the thermal will pick up their heat signature within the bushes and things mm -hmm. so now exactly. you've just amplified and multiplied your capability by a simple clip on to an existing optic that's in the inventory so this is very cool. held and you said it can be weapons mounted weapons mounted in the same fashion if this was a weapons mount an uns or a muns a clip on night vision device right. with the appropriate bracket Again, we can feed in a thermal image to another image intensified device, giving it detection capabilities of thermal imager at other ranges. So, outstanding flexibility, utility, and versatility. Does. Okay, and next? Next, we're talking about the Mosquito. This is a targeting device, basically a, a ISR targeting asset, uh, intelligence surveillance reconnaissance targeting. It's a day optic, five power day optic, so you can see direct view day. Uh, low light level even conditions. It's a image intensified optic, a three power image intensified channel. Yeah. So you have day channel, night channel, and then within it is a laser range finder, our laser range finder technology, a digital magnetic compass, which is our invention, of course, and the inclinometer. It could have an optional GPS and Bluetooth capability, so you can output either by wire to a GPS, like Dagger or Garmin or other right. technology for total location of self and target or you could wirelessly in some cases send it to a, a laptop, a PDA or something so that you could get, get mapping coordinates to that, to that uh, technology. So what's the rail for? On the, uh, up on the, the rail top? is, uh, this would be typically a mounting rail for, you might want to put a pointer on there because I'm operating day and night and I might want to point to my target for my squad operating behind me to know where is that target at. Right. And that pointer would give it to them because it's not a built-in pointer. The other rail is for a thing, a device like Cody where you clip on the Cody device and now you overlay thermal. again thermal image over the image intensified image. Or you have a optical, or optical fusion detection and recognition capability combined into one. Mm. Superior capability. That Cody really comes in handy on all your, Oh, it, it, it's versatility amazing. and utility are just amazing and a very cost effective adjunct accessory to existing inventory items. Right. It's yeah. really an accessory to the existing inventory items to enhance its capability. It's amazing. Very, very cool. So then the range finder? And this is then is one of our newest. This is the Pocket Laser Range Finder PLR F25 Charlie. So this, if, this comes from a long evolution of product. Long evolution. 12 years of the Pocket Laser Range Finder family, the PLR F15, the PLR F15 Charlie. PLR 15 was known as the ANP Q8. It's developed again with force influence, so it's designed for Around what there. our forces need. This model has a transmit and a receive optic, about a four kilometer range, operates off a single battery, has a rubberized, easy to hold, uh, small, compact. small compact body. Lightweight. 
It uh, has a single button operation. You fire the button and then you fire it again and again and again. You, the data comes to you, the range data, the azimuth data, the inclination data, all the data comes. So as you fire it, then if you're connected to a GPS, it transmits all that data to your GPS or your PDA or your targeting software so that your software will now receive the coordinate of the target. Or send you it call off for fire, send whatever. it off, do whatever you want to do, whatever you need to do. That's amazing. Very, very compact handle. And you said the battery life on that is just endless. I mean, endless get, battery life. We say about I mean, 5,000 ranges uh, on a, a battery life. A we get five to eight hours out, out of a battery. We have battery packs that, are, of course, adapt to these things to give them extended life, put them on the back of the helmet kind of thing. We've got all that. Video recording devices where we can record the video right. and things like that, transmit the video. Uh, devices like this get about eight to 12 hours of general operation depending on how many ranges. Is that one CR123 or two? This is two CR123s. Okay. So all common battery, excluding the PVS type device. So we're operating pretty much 123s. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, great, thanks for coming by. Well, thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.